Welcome aspiring real estate investors. Have you ever wondered exactly what to do on a flip construction project? Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of property renovation, creating a comprehensive scope of work. This document is essential for managing construction projects efficiently and ensuring a smooth progress. I'll guide you through how to prioritize different trades so that you can avoid costly mistakes. Now, what exactly is a scope of work? A scope of work is a document that outlines exactly what the project entails. Typically, this scope of work is broken into sections divided by each trade, which is painting, flooring, drywall, plumbing, electrical, etc. This document is essential when it comes to a clear communication with your contractor. A clear scope of work will allow your contractor to reference the document later when they have questions about what is or isn't included. So first things first, whenever I start a new project, I always create a scope of work myself. Many contractors will want to create it, but I prefer to ensure clarity and avoid misunderstandings. Detailed scope of works prevent miscommunications down the line. In addition, when you're getting multiple bids on a project, it's important they're all an estimate according to the same exact scope of work. If you have something written up, the contractor can create an exact estimate for that specific document. Some contractors may not like your detailed approach to creating the scope of work. That's their problem, as it might initially seem excessive to them but the clarity of everything in writing will soon be appreciated. Referring back to the scope of work saves time and minimizes errors with back and forth communication. The written communication in the scope of work is crucial. Verbal exchanges can lead to misunderstandings due to different interpretations of people. Having everything documented ensures everyone's on the same page. This reduces the need for constant clarifications during the project. Now, let me take you through all the crucial trades when it comes to a flip project. First things first, I always talk about demolition. Demolition includes exterior and interior removal of anything that isn't needed in the house, whether that's trash or it could also be the cabinets and the shower, or the light fixtures, the flooring. If you're opening up walls for open concept, this is the demolition of walls would be included here as well. On any construction project, it's crucial to get this demolition part right. If you over demo, you're gonna have to spend extra money to rebuild what you accidentally got rid of. So remember, you have to get this part extremely detailed. Next up is framing. When framing a house, this includes all the structural wood that creates walls or boxes and showers. If you are rewiring and replumbing an entire house, the mechanical and electrical components will go inside this framing in this wall. Any new structures or walls will need new framing. At this time, you'll also install any new windows if needed, as they will also need new framing or at least adjusted framing. Now, number four is the rough-in. This includes any electrical, plumbing, or HVAC rough-in the walls or ceilings or floors. This is typically electrical wiring for outlet switches or lights. It's also plumbing lines for toilets or showers. The valves for all the shower fixtures will be installed at this time. Any HVAC ducting that needs to get installed will also get installed at this time. Now, next up is drywall. Once you're finished with all the framing and rough in, you'll need to put some walls on the framing. The drywall will get put over the framing. And once the drywall is up, the laborers will apply mud to the wall and create a texture to prep it for paint. In the case that you have new plumbing and electrical, it's important to get that inspected by the city before putting the drywall up or covering the work. They're gonna wanna see what's behind the walls before you close them up. Now, number six is paint. After you're done with drywall and mud, you're gonna go ahead and paint it. All the walls and ceiling and exterior of the house will get painted at this time. It's crucial to do the painting before flooring because you don't wanna ruin your flooring. At the same time, you paint the walls and ceilings, you also wanna paint all the trim. So baseboards, doors, and trim, that's gonna get installed later. Now that you're all painted, number seven is flooring. You'll need to install flooring and baseboards. Pretty simple, whether you're installing carpet, LVP, tile, it's important you get all the flooring down before adding any appliances or cabinets. Now, number eight, moving on is doors and trim. Remember, these are already painted. So now that you have flooring installed, you're ready to install trim and doors. This includes any crown molding, baseboard, trim around the doors and windows, and obviously installing any closet, interior doors, exterior doors, and all the associated hardware. Hardware includes knobs, hinges, and any hardware for the doors will be installed at this time. Now, moving on to the last piece is number nine is the finishes. The finishing touches will include all the finished plumbing, electrical, and HVAC pipes. This is things like lights, switches, outlet covers, faucets, shower heads, kitchen faucets, cabinets, hardware, and countertop. 
Pretty much anything that you can feel and touch is a finished product that will be installed at this time. Now that we're done with most of the work, we can go ahead and go to the landscaping. A well landscaping house will always sell quicker. Now, these are all the things that you need to include in your scope of work. You can create a document outlining the items you need to do on your construction project for each of these items so you know how to run your next construction project. In my coaching, I provide a detailed template for creating a scope of work, ensuring nothing gets overlooked. If you're serious about improving your renovation process, consider booking a free strategy call with me. Click the link in the description below for more information. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy renovating. Hey, watch this video next. YouTube really thinks you're gonna like it.